Hello, welcome to Ross Recording Studios. I'm Chuck, and today we are going to install memory into the Cyber Power PC. We are going to hot rod this. If we were working on a car, it would be like installing a camshaft, upgrading it to a street strip. So let's get at it. First thing that we do is we turn the power to the PC off. Okay, she's down. Unplug the power. It would be nice to put it right up on top of the bench, but you know, I'd have to do a lot of unplugging of everything. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's like seven inputs, so I think it'd be much easier if I just actually laid it right down very carefully right here. It's beautiful. And it looks like these side screws are pretty tight so I'm going to have to get a screwdriver for those. Hold the phone! <coughs> Alright, we've got the screwdriver, we take out four screws. And that one will set very gently right here. And what we've got for the memory is brand. It's um, the brand is XPG. It's for the DD4 models. The particular. Hertz is 3000 on this and there's a lot of different models. So I called up CyberPower on the phone and said, hey, you know, I looked down the list, I see they got a 3200, you know, hey, should I beef it up a little bit? They're like, absolutely not. Stay right with the 3000. It did come with eight gigabyte stick in it. They said, yes, I can upgrade that particular stick to a 16 gig stick. I was like, wow. So I'll double, double the memory. And I've bought four of them. Four 16 gig sticks. So that really should hot drive the memory right up. And Adobe Premiere, when it's running 100% on the computer, with the 8 gig stick right in there right now, it hits that threshold immediately. And what's nice about working a little bit in a studio here, if I need light, so I can see what's going on in there. Add a little light. Excuse me, cut. 
<coughs> my cyber power makes this so easy. I don't have to move anything out of the way. Complete access to the memory chip. And if you look and see down on the left, there is a little clip that you have to press. And the same on the right hand side, there is also. There's also clips. And you can see them now. So you just snap those clips. You just snap them. And that takes, that allows you to get the old one out and the new ones in. It's only on the one side you need to unsnap it. And there's the old memory. And I'll take the new memory out. You can see there's a different length than rows on the pen, so it will only go in one way. We took out one and we're replacing it with four. I am psyched. Three times more than I had before. Now I know how data feels. Though he could probably put these chips in a little bit faster since he's used to dealing with isolinear chips all day long. Okay, don't force it. If it doesn't go, all right. One, two, three, four. I'll tell you what. They may not be isolinear chips, but I'll give this thing a big boost. All right, so all we got to do is. And I'm really glad that I didn't disconnect any of the 
wiring on the back. Because now all I got to do is tip it back up and plug it in and we should be good to go. Looks like I gotta get the Windex out and get this baby a little shining. Light cord, get this thing out of the way. Well, I gotta say that was. It was a lot of fun and exciting. Alright, that was a lot of fun. That was that was a lot of fun and exciting putting that memory in. Uh, we got the computer. We're getting ready to get that booted up. Right, we got the computer firing up again. I plugged it in and I pushed the power switch and nothing happened. I was like, oh boy, oh boy, here we go. What did I do? I get the light out, check the power, it's plugged in. Thank God, it was just the power switch on top of the power plug. Turn that switch, pushed it back in again. Turn the power on and we have power. And let's see. I don't know if we need drivers to install. I don't know. Thanks for watching, Ross Recording Studios, please like and subscribe.